Hace un minuto. Estaba con mi hermano Charlie. Es magia. No, Charlie, no. To me, the most contrasty thing was real people going through this magical portal, turning into little toys. One of the first things that we did working on the movie is we met with Playmobil fans. And there's something that every single fan brought up during the conversation was the idea of storytelling and role playing. Playmobil is a blank slate. So we decided very early on, the movie was gonna be the template of the structure of the film in order to honor the subject matter that we're dealing with is about a character that's gonna, you know, be the hero of her own story. She's gonna role play. In order to get back and find her brother and become human again, she's gonna have to think like she did when she was a kid. But let's just make a really good movie, right? Let's make an interesting protagonist with real struggles, with an honest problem, and has something that we're all rooting for her to get. Her old life back and her brother. Very primal family things. And those are my favorite movies. Are, are movies where families come together. Um, and then once we kind of, the glue to the movie is this idea of role playing and storytelling. If we honored that aspect of it, th you know, thematically, this idea of um, don't let the obstacles, you know, take you off track, use them to make you who you are, then that kept us straight. Hola, ¿cómo dice Don Albondigón? Quiero conocer a Marla. Ay, la albondiga quiere conocer a Marla. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Mi, 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 Wow. Qué bueno está esto. I guess you can say a lot of movies are fairy tales. I knew I wanted to kind of follow that structure, uh, that template where, you know, the protagonist goes on this magical journey and, and in the simplest form learns about themselves. And a lot of fairy tales, they have like the, the storybook, Once Upon a Time. And that didn't feel right for our movie. Like the, the storybook, it wasn't specific to Playmobil. ¿Quién eres tú? ¿En serio? Mi atuendo, la varita mágica, este brillo titilante, mi habilidad de volar. Nada de eso te da una pista. Hello, soy una hada madrina. Oh. So we use live action because we knew they had to turn into toys. Oh, vamos. Mira todo esto. Es como si debiéramos estar aquí. Debiéramos estar aquí. Es ridículo. And we could have done it animated. Marla. De acuerdo, Charlie. Podemos hacerlo. We could have had the beginning CG or hand-drawn animation. Like Toy Story. Like Toy Story, but then them, that turn, them turning into toys wouldn't feel contrasty. Charlie! Ah! Ah! Wow! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Alejate, tipo rudo! Estoy buscando a mi hermano! Me haces cosquillas! To me, the most contrasty thing was real people going through this magical portal turning into little toys. So I was at Disney for almost 17 years. I worked on Chicken Little, Bolt, <clears throat> Tangled. I was the head of animation on Frozen. Um, and being at Disney for so long, uh, I felt like, you know, Frozen being so successful, if I don't, direct now, I'm never gonna leave Disney. So uh, I love that, you know, I, I'm taking everything I learned and I'm trying to put it into my movies. I'm learning every day. Uh, uh, I know I still have a lot to learn, but you know, as an artist, it's a great journey.